a, a, a problem like this requires, uh, requires a step change, it requires something disruptive. And we knew that pretty much from the start, that, that what we were going to have to do was, was invent something new and come up with something that was, that was completely different from what was being done. And you, you need a lot of people to have a lot of faith in you. But you also, you also need to know that, that, that what you're doing will be useful. The, the great moment for me, the, the moment where, where we realized that, that, we had a, that we had a good idea that people were interested in, was when I went to see Mark Carney the first time. 80,000 people die per year of a heart attack, so the important thing is that those people, if they attend hospital, are dealt with very quickly. A million people attend hospital with chest pain, so it's equally important that if they haven't got a heart attack, we deal with them quickly and effectively so that the patient goes to the right place at the right time. It's a massive problem. It accounts for a significant number of attendances at hospital every day uh, across the UK, so it's a big burden on, on the healthcare uh, system and on patients as well and on people. You know, if you can diagnose or rule out a cardiac condition on the spot, you know, in real time, that could really change the way we look after patients with chest pain. So that's, you know, it's not a trivial thing, this is a global thing, so it could be amazing. The final device as it stands now is actually a long way distant from where we started. The, the heart has currents that flow through and the currents cause contraction. And as that current flows through the heart, you get a magnetic field that comes out. So what we have is a sensor which turns that magnetic field into an electrical current. And there, there really was um, a sort of eureka moment. It's not about detecting what condition somebody has, but detecting that they have one in the first, even, even at all. Uh, so, so this detection of healthy or ruling out turns out to be a, a game-changing uh, uh, direction. What makes this special is that the device itself is battery powered and can be deployed to the areas where acute patients are seen. So patients come into the emergency department late at night with chest pain. We can actually get to the patient's bedside and the device is maneuverable. In a three minute scan through clothing, we can identify whether that patient's chest pain is cardiac related or some other cause for it where the patient can be discharged and seen at a later date. And actually we're in there by ourselves right now, so there's no uh, immediate competitors working in that space alongside us. When I first started in medicine, there was a scan called the echocardiograph, which was, you know, not, it was very difficult to get and you, you, know, you have to wait weeks to get them. Now every single patient can get an echocardiograph. I can see this technology having a very similar impact as the echocardiograph. Uh, our focus has always been on making things better. So to see something that we're doing experimentally become a practical device. Is, has been has been incredibly rewarding. Uh, we're we're not just it's not just science for science sake. We're we're suddenly changing people's lives. Uh, and there are many other organs in the body that also produce magnetic fields. And so there's the the, the prospects for future devices which use magnetic detection in other areas of the body is is enormous. <laughs>